Breaking news, there's been a break in the case after a Miami Gardens teacher was murdered. A former assistant principal is now charged in her death. Ernest Roberts is accused of killing Camila Russell last month. Her body was discovered floating in a Miami Gardens canal in late May. And right now we have team coverage at noon on this murder arrest. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live right now outside the victim mother's home in Miami Gardens. But let's start things off with Local 10 News reporter Jeff Weinsier, who is live at Miami Gardens Police Department with the latest. Jeff. Janice, they both worked once side by side at Norland Senior High School, but they were much more than co-workers. In fact, in a recent tweet, Ernest Roberts called her his sister. He is also the godfather to both of her children. Right now, as you said, he is charged with first degree murder, with killing her inside of his house. As Ernest Roberts is being questioned in the Miami Gardens Police Department this morning. Investigators, with the help of Miami-Dade firefighters, bring saws and axes into his house. A source says they may be looking for blood under some carpeting. Roberts now charged with killing Camilla Russell, a friend and a former colleague of his at Norland High. Both were once assistant principals there. Russell, who was now a testing administrator, was last seen alive May 15th, pulling into her aunt's house. Her body found 10 days later floating in a canal near Roberts Miami Gardens home. According to an arrest after David Roberts asked a fellow school employee if he could make a car disappear. Attached were the keys to Russell's Audi. There was blood on Roberts front door, on a sandal, on an Amazon box in his bedroom. A source says there may be pieces of carpet missing from the house as if someone tried to get rid of evidence. And phone records place Russell at Robert's house when she apparently disappeared. A source says a relative or a friend may have helped Roberts remove the body from the house and that may have been caught on a neighbor's surveillance camera. In a recent tweet, Roberts wrote, quote, Camilla was more than a sister. For more than 20 years, she's been at my side. He says rumors are dangerous. Anyone with facts, please reach out. This was Russell's last Instagram post before vanishing, and those were likely her last words on social media. And according to that arrest, a warrant that we received about an hour ago, Robert's house reeked of bleach when investigators went inside. He had asked a school colleague and told a school colleague what happened in his house is that he had killed an intruder with a baseball bat and asked that colleague how he could get rid of blood in his house. The state attorney's office, as well as the chief of police here at Miami Gardens, expected to hold a news conference at 2 o'clock this afternoon and right now. Now, Roberts remains here at the Miami Gardens Police Department. We expect him to be transported to TGK within the next hour or so. Camilla Russell died, according to the medical examiner's office, of blunt trauma to the head. We're live outside the Miami Gardens Police Department. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. Jeff, thank you. And our team coverage turns now to Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly. He is live outside the teacher mother's home in Miami Gardens right now. Live. What can you tell us, Trent? Well, guys, over the last few hours, we started to see a few more family members pulling up here to the family's home. That's after the news of this arrest was first announced. This driveway, of course, is one of the final places where Camila was ever seen alive. And now her family is struggling to come to terms with the news that her accused killer is someone who they knew very well. New video showing the Miami Gardens police chief leaving the home belonging to Camila Russell's family this morning. The chief, we're told, was there to personally inform the family that an arrest had been made in the case of their missing daughter. Camila's mother, Linda Russell, not ready to speak on camera, telling Local 10 the family is still trying to process the news. She says the family is especially shaken, knowing the accused killer, Ernest Roberts, is someone they knew very well. Roberts used to serve as an assistant principal at Norland High, the very same school where Russell worked as a test administrator. Her body found weeks later floating in a canal just a few blocks away. Linda Russell saying at the time she didn't understand why anyone would want to harm her daughter. Basically, they just continued the investigation, you know, now that they've recovered a body. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. 
And you can only imagine all of the emotions that the family is going through right now. Again, they tell me they are just too torn up right now to speak out publicly on this. They're hoping to convene as a family later this afternoon and uh, maybe even answer a few questions later today. As soon as that happens, we will bring it to you both on air and online. For now, though, that's the very latest live here in Miami Gardens. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. All right, Trent, thank you. Now, here's a statement from the school district about the arrest. It says, in part, Miami-Dade County Public Schools is appalled and saddened after learning of today's arrest in connection to the death of Camila Russell. Miami-Dade Schools Police has provided any and all assistance requested by the Miami Gardens Police Department in their investigation. Based on preliminary information we received, the district took precautionary measures while the case was being investigated and immediately removed the individual from duty. Following his arrest, the district has initiated the employment termination process. Our prayers and thoughts continue to be with Miss Russell's family.